I promised yesterday we'd talk about Sarah Kingdom today, so let's get to it. Welcome to the Time Treadmill. I'm Ron, and these are my sweaty thoughts about Doctor Who. This morning on the treadmill were episodes five and six of the Daleks Master Plan. Episode five still exists in the BBC archives, whereas episode six I watched as a reconstruction done by Loose Cannon. With these two episodes, Sarah Kingdom, played by Jean Marsh, becomes a regular on the series, joining the Doctor and Stephen in their fight to defeat the Daleks. Now you may recall a while back when I was watching The Crusade, I mentioned Jean Marsh and told you her name would come up again. Here it is. She played King Richard's sister Joanna in The Crusade, and now here in this story she plays Sarah Kingdom. Jean Marsh will be back one more time to play yet a third role in Legacy Doctor Who, this time in the seventh Doctor in Battlefield, but I won't get to that for months, so let's set that aside for a moment. To me, the most interesting thing about Jean Marsh, aside from all of the various characters she's played in the show's history, is that she was, for a certain period of time, married to John Pertwee, the third Doctor. It's safe to say that her ties to Doctor Who are varied and extensive. But getting back to the story at hand, I wish I could say that Sarah Kingdom has joined the program for the long term. Unfortunately, she, just like Katerina, won't make it out of this story alive. She does survive for more episodes than Katerina did, so... At least there's that. As for the story at hand, well now we're at the midpoint of a 12 episode long story. And as you can imagine, we're at the part of the story in the middle where there's a little bit of treading water to keep things going. In this case, the Doctor and Stephen had traveled all the way from Kemble to Earth to reveal Mavic Chen's treachery and find themselves accidentally transported back to a planet nearby Kendall as victims to a scientific experiment. Which is, you know, a little bit convenient. There's also this weird side story where they wind up on the planet Myra, which is home to these eight foot tall invisible beasts. And one really wonders if the reason they were invisible was purely for budgetary constraints. I, I suspect so. In any case, by the point where I left off, the doctors made a decoy version of the terranium element that the Daleks are hunting them down for. They've all wound up back on the planet Kemble, and the Doctor, Stephen, and Sarah Kingdom wind up back on board the TARDIS to escape the Daleks. So here we are, the midpoint of the story, and tomorrow there's the surprising return of an unexpected character. I'll see you then. Mm -hmm.